Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Beast Coast Pokemon. Today, Rosemary, James, and I have been assigned a very interesting task. Now, recently, Pokemon came out with an official forum. Let's just say there's some interesting posts out there. So Beast Coast has selected some posts for us to read and react to. We have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. So I am a little nervous, but I'm also eager to see what people are posting on there. I personally haven't actually checked it out myself. I don't know about you guys, Rosemary and James, but I have not. So yeah, I, uh, I let's just let's just get started how are you guys feeling nervous also <laughs> I don't know what to expect coming out of the forums, but it feels like a blast from the past, I guess, when we had forums before. I have seen screenshots. <laughs> I am, let's just say that they are asking the most wildest questions. I have not even been on Reddit. Like I've been on Reddit maybe like twice in my life and I have not really read anything from Reddit. If I've heard the horror stories of Reddit, that's what I'm expecting here today. What Pokemon would be the best at operating a Hyundai? two five l seven forklift that is that a car is oh, is that a forklift well i don't know great question i'm pretty sure we all dream of having a hyundai somewhere in our lives you know what I, i'm gonna go keep it classy let's just go with an alakazam because even if like something goes wrong with the machine you could use your psychic powers easy i feel like the best pokemon for operating a forklift would be ambipom like it has the extra hand as a tail so you could use that to be able to operate like three things at once i saw fan art someone drew a piplup operating it and uh, you know no bias or anything but i, I do like piplup just a little bit and he had a little hard hat and he was using his little you know paws to to control it and uh it was adorable and i, I think the picture made me convinced that piplup would be best at operating it aaron our favorite Pokemon is Piplup. I think we both know that, but like, I, I don't know about how tall Piplup is, but I don't know if it can hey, really man. reach that. Hey, it, it doesn't matter if, if you have the cuteness of Piplup. Look, I need to find, we need to like show the picture, the fan art on the screen. Cause I looked at it. I was like, this is so cute. Was I'm that convinced. the one from today? Today? No, I saw, I saw it like right when the forums came out, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. But he had a little hard hat and it was adorable. <laughs> okay. So I, my, my answer is Piplup. I'm convinced that picture got me sold. Cool. We got another prompt here. The worst Pokemon character of all time. Easily Bruxish. Without question, that's Bruxish. Wait, that is the worst like design. A specific I Pokemon I, or like I'm a person? In, I'm pretty you know, sure Pokemon. it's a person. I'm pretty sure. I don't care. Bruxish is bad enough to be the worst character of all time. So I'm like, I'm trying to answer it from a character perspective and just, this goes to show how little Pokemon like outside of VGC I know because I actually cannot think of an answer. Like, oh, who is that really annoying guy from Sword and Shield? Was it Hop? Like the... The rival? Yeah, yeah, I feel like was, Hop was, was really Hop. annoying. But I also feel like when I was a kid, I was like too young to really care about any of it. But then like, I feel like when I... I feel like... Wait, was, was he the one that was like getting the bag, Nebby? Was was that the dude? Uh, no, that was Lily. Wait, wasn't that Lily? Lily the Lily said get in the bag, Nebby. Okay, well, for some moon? reason, I remember Hop being really annoying. So he's my pick. Uh, I think I would probably know of this if like I... If I thought more about this question, but I'm just going to say the Sword and Shield, like the post game villains the one with the weird hairs with like zoption zamazenta man i hated those two some of the worst villains i think pokemon's ever produced i just go with those two i have an actual character answer and mine is barry i'll have to find you i'm gonna make you pay a fine for that find 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 it's fine time the truth is i'm a gazillion times stronger than you'll ever be i have never been more annoyed with a pokemon character in my life just the amount of times he bumps into thing has no actual self-awareness of how he is affected a social situation and also just runs away I think if I'm he has a problem he just a runs away for that answer <laughs> Okay, next question. Which third slash upper version Pokemon game is the best when it comes to improvements? Hmm, that is an interesting one. I'll tell you which one isn't it. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I think was, it's probably my least favorite like mainstream Pokemon game. I don't know. I like, I don't remember it that well, but I just remember like just feeling miserable playing it. <laughs> I'd fight you on that, Aaron, because I loved Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Really? I, I played that, I played through that game like six times at least. Dude, what? <laughs> Why? Uh, mainly because I was, I had a lot of cartridges. So it was like, I was trying to get like battle stadium card, a stream card, a YouTube card, a tournament card. It was just like, <laughs> cause I do that for like all games, but yeah, like I actually really did enjoy Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. My answer is Emerald, by the way. Like I'm a, I'm a third gen, fourth gen baby, but I, I love Emerald so much. If those don't count, it'd be Platinum. I'm just a huge gen four fan. I would say Platinum also, but I can't tell if that is because I remember Platinum being an incredibly good game 
or my recency bias with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl being <laughs> not living up to my expectations. Fair enough. I love Gen 4 and I just did not really play much of BDSP. BDSP compared to that was amazing. Can't lie. I agree. Yeah, I just, I That's wish that fair. was more fleshed out. You know, we were like searching random codes to try to battle against each other. Like no ladder. I, I, I really like the format because I mean, I, I love Gen 4 BGC, but yeah, I obviously it wasn't made to be a, as competitive of a game. How many Pokemon would survive in the... <laughs> I can't even say this straight. How many Pokemon would survive in the anvil being dropped on them from 10 feet above? Um, Good question. Yeah. How, how many? <laughs> I don't know if I can... I, I don't, I don't think any. Oh, maybe Torkoal. Eh, Pokemon's a cartoon. I think they'll all survive. That's just cartoon logic. That's my honest answer. Okay, that's that's great logic. I agree with that. All of them. I was gonna try to be like, okay, how heavy is the anvil? And then like, what? Huh? I feel like at some point, maybe if you're above a certain weight, I guess it's also like, where are you being hit from, right? Like if it lands on your head, then I feel like your odds of surviving are obviously pretty slim. But if it's like a Snorlax and it lands on his stomach, you know, that, that might just bounce off. So I think the answer ranges. I think oh. if you're getting hit on the head, you know, that's a, that's a little tough. What Pokemon would be most likely to initiate third impact? I don't know what that means. I, what, I don't even know what that means. What, what the heck is the first impact, impact or the second impact? <laughs> what? If all Pokemon are trapped in a sensory deprivation chamber, which one would stay sane the longest? Probably Psyduck, let's be real. Or Slowpoke. Is Psyduck sane though? Like, I feel like you have to start off sane, but Psyduck just seems kind of insane right from the start. The thing is, I think that the Psyduck would just stay neutral and then like everything, everyone else would go insane. That's, that's good logic. That leads me to another psychic type. Because I feel like it has to be a psychic type that would be able to survive the longest. Maybe like fan take on Mr. Mime's origin story? My answer is Mr. Mime solely because I feel like he was a mime that accidentally got trapped into a Pokeball and then became what we know as Mr. Mime. What would be your moveset type and ability. Oh, easy. Sylveon, my moveset would be Hyper Voice. So it has to be on there. Maybe Cute Charm. I don't know. I'll talk myself up for that. And then ability would be Pixelate. But I say Hyper Voice because like I'm a caster and it feels like because mm. I love Sylveon, it, it, I don't know, makes sense. I honestly have no answer for this one, no. Man, Rose gave such a good answer. I'm like, I I'm thinking about like characteristics. I feel like I would be like a faster Pokemon. Like I ran, I, I was a sprinter back in high school. Maybe someone who thinks, some Pokemon that thinks logically. Like what are what are moves that lend to like thinking? I don't know, I was, I was like, like Calm Mind was the first thing that bumped into my mind. That was a lot of very interesting topics to have to hit. So thank you to the Pokemon forums for providing such entertainment. Uh, thank you to James and Aaron, of course, for the video content as well. I feel like there's some fun tidbits in there. Also, thank you to you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all in the next one.